In this video, I'm going to show you how we can do a risk assessment in Google Sheets. I want to automate this process as much as possible. And I also want to notify you that I did a similar video in Excel, but I've been requested by one of my viewers to do the same in Google Sheets. So to start off, we have we are going to do a risk assessment. And the, we, are, we have the risks here. You list your risks here. What is the impact? What is the likelihood? Then the, the impact and likelihood gives us an assessment. And this assessment is determined by this matrix here. Now, this, this risk matrix, what it does, assuming the likelihood is low, we go on this line here, row here. And if the impact is also low, we follow this line. And where the two intersect is what we get as low as our assessment as low. So we want to automate this process as much as possible. That what I come here and fill in the impact, fill in the likelihood, and automatically the assessment is picked from this depot and input here, as well as the conditional formatting is also applied based on whether the risk is high, low, medium. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is put conditional formatting. I'm going to highlight that and also highlight this one here. Then I go to format, conditional formatting, and I'm going to apply my conditional formatting to these cells here. And uh, we are going to use text contains. And we say if our text contains law, like so. Uh, this is a low risk, so it is good that we give it color green. And uh, yeah, that would be okay. Then we say done. We highlight this one again. And also you can see the color green is already applied. I like that. Formatting. Conditional formatting. Add another rule to the same cells. And then maybe I should copy this. Then I come here. I use text contains. If the word is medium, the risk is medium. Give it color yellow. Say done. Add another rule to the same range come here put text contain high high means danger and the risk is therefore red to signify that this is a risk that needs attention so when we do that this is all formatted for example when i put low here I expect the color green and so on now the next step we're going to do I told you we are automating this process as much as possible. So I want to make the data entry fast. And I'm therefore, I'm going to put my drop down on this cells I've selected here. So I say that, I start drop down right here. Then our first value is low. Next value is medium. Then our last value is high. So when I set done, now when I come here, you can see I have medium and high. Maybe I don't like this the way this one looks. I can come under advanced options and change the way they look by this one here. I think this is quite fine. So when I change to medium, change to high, you can see the red color coming through. Now we are ready to start our risk assessment. Now, as I told you, I need to automate this process. So what I want is if I select law and I select law, this assessment should automatically be populated. 
Now to do that, I'm gonna use another, a combination of the index function and the match function to come into this risk matrix, select the law here, select law here, find the intersection as law, return it and populate it in here. So the way the index and match works, I'll type the word index, it takes a range and this is my range here because I'm copying my formula down. I need to lock it so it's not disorganized on copying. Then I give it a row and also a column number. So I'm saying go to row one and column one and pick whatever value is there and return right back here. So it comes, this is the first row, first column, it picks this and returns here. So if I say go to second row and first column, it still returns low. But if I say go to third row and first column, go to the third row and then the first column, it return the medium. And this one of course is not linked to what we have here. Uh, we need to remove these items, numbers, so they are automatically generated. Now to remove this, we are gonna use another function which returns which the match function, which returns the position. So I'm gonna search for law, okay? The first one is impact. I'm going to search it under impact. So law, comma, then, My next argument is the range. Where am I searching this? In this range here. In this range here. I can lock this because I'm going to copy my formula down. Then the next argument should be an exact match. I close my brackets. So this one will return me the position of whatever is in the impact here. Okay. So, okay. Whatever is in impact here, if it is low, I will come and search here in this array. It returns one. If it is in position one, if it is this medium to return two, if it is this one to return three. So that's what the index, the match function is gonna do. Then for instead of this row, maybe for demonstration purposes, to make it more clear, let me first do it down here. So I'm going to search this value, comma, in this range here, comma, I want an exact match, close brackets, enter. So because it is low, it searches for low in this range here. Low is the first one. So it counts, it's the first one. But it returns one. So if I change this to medium, return two, because medium is in one, two. Change this to high, it returned three because media high is three position one, two, three. Okay, so this is instead of putting a figure here, I'm going to replace it with this function here. Okay, so I'm going to copy, and of course, I need to lock this because I'm going to copy my formula down. like so. Let's copy this match function. It's going to return for us this position one here. And I press enter. So when you do that, so you're going to see when impact is low, come along this column. And likelihood is high, come along this column, pro, and then you get medium. So if I change this to high, 
you see everything becomes high. Impact high, this is the column. Likelihood high, where they intersect, what is returned here. So this way, I've, what I've done, I've automated my process. So you come in here and say, okay, it's risk two is low and low. I need to copy this down. Then it returns low. Now to remove this NA, you're going to enclose this in error function. So you enclose that in if error, like so. Then after that, we copy, we copy our formula down. There you go, they go away. Now our whole process is automated. If I say low, low, I get a low because this is low against low. Then if I say medium, whatever I put here, high, I get high, it is medium, which should be here. And then impact is high. So where the intersect is high, right here, it is zip, medium, which gives us high. And then this row here, so where the intersect is high. So you can change it to whatever you want and you have an automated sheet working fine. So all what you have to do is to fill in the impact and the likelihood and the assessment will automatically be uh, input. Thank you for watching. Hope this has been helpful. If so, please like the video, give me your comments. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and see you in the next video. And don't forget to have a great day.